Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 17th part of the series of lectures introducing the RM software for filter design. We will be talking here about parallel realization of GMC single phase and two phase integrated electronic filters. Here is the content of the presentation. After the introduction, we will repeat the story of transfer function parallelization. Then we will introduce the general second order cell, GMC cell. Then we will list the GMC cells used for synthesis in the case of parallel realization. Then we will introduce shortly the idea of polyphase or two-phase filters. And that will be followed by description of the GMC PAR and, G and the polyparallel programs. One of the problems encountered in high-frequency analog integrated filter synthesis is the area needed to produce an inductor. It is realized, realized in a form of a flat spiral line, the inductance of which is limited not only by the area on the silicon, but also by huge parasitic capacitance and series resistance. To avoid such a component, attempts were made to find an active circuit that simulates the inductance good enough to be implemented in high-frequency CMOS integrated circuits. Alike the simulated inductance and consequently the GMC solution based on LC prototypes, we will here introduce synthesis of a kind of filters based on parallel connection of second order, if necessary, one first order, GMC cells. The main steps of the synthesis are transfer function parallelization, synthesis of the cells building the system, second order, first order, and summing, and creation of the system as a whole. We will first pay some attention to the transfer function parallelization. We, we see on the left-hand side the expression, which from one side represents a rational function of polynomials expressed in factorot form. On the right hand side, we have sum of partial fractions. So one is to find the residues based on the left hand side and substitute as numerators in the expression on the right. That means we will have a sum, which means parallel expression, uh, uh, a convenient for parallel realization. After some manipulation of or putting together the conjugate poles, uh, we have the transfer function expressed 
as a sum of big words and, if necessary, one single first order cell. And that imposes the, the structure of the overall uh, system to be used. As we can see, here is the structure of the parallel GMC filter, which is uh, topologically identical to the one for uh, active RC circuits, nothing to be added. The difference is only in the uh, structure of the cells and the structure of the summing amplifier. To get the structure of the cells, we are using the generic GMC big quad uh, as shown above, in which by proper connection of the nodes V3 and V4 and proper choice of the values of the coefficients A and B, a wide variety variety of big words may be produced. That may be seen from the expression from the for the transfer function, which is obtained by circuit analysis. And as one can see, by choice of A and B, and uh, and uh, uh, we may we may uh, really control the numerator of this. Of this expression producing uh, all kinds of, of transfer functions. Here is the one which is of interest here and which will be used in parallel realization of GMC filter. In fact, all the cells, as we already saw, have the same type of transfer function, so they need the same structure of the cell. Here on the right-hand side, we may see that it is a low pass in the sense that the gain at infinity is zero, while that does not mean that the gain at the origin is the largest. So it depends on the values of the elements. So it may have a peak somewhere on some frequency, but generally at infinite frequency is zero, which is of importance from noise point of view, for example. Here is the other, the first order cell, which is in fact a uh, operational conductance amplifier loaded by RC circuit. Uh, the R is simulated by the by writer, by the negative impedance, oh sorry, by the transconductor. Here is the summing amplifier in which the value of the transconductance, the, not the value, but the sign of the transconductance may be changed by interchanging the input terminals of any single uh, amplifier within the summation so that one can accommodate the sign of the system without introducing additional circuits. So that was all about the synthesis of parallel GMC filters. We will uh, turn now to the to the polyphase or two-phase filters. This is the story. In modern telecommunication systems, for example, the software-defined radio. A necessity arises for suppression of the received signal's image 
at negative frequencies. When the receivers are on in low intermediate mode. In that way, the noise is redu reduced or the noise failure is improved. In fact, by using a low intermediate frequency of only a few hundred kilohertz, it combines the integrability of the zero intermediate receiver with the insensitivity of the intermediate receiver as such for parasitic basement signals. The phase filter that is present here has two inputs, in phase I and quadrature phase Q, and two quadrature in inputs I and Q. These are shifted by 90 degrees. Two transfer functions therefore characterize the filter. A low intermediate frequency receiver requires a polyphase filter with a passband from positive to positive frequencies, with an attenuation from negative to negative frequencies, and with no signal transfer from positive to negative and vice versa. Here is the idea illustrated. On the left hand side, we have the gain of an ordinary filter, single phase filter. It is the single characteristic, but shown in two colors to show that uh, uh, the because the uh, amplitude characteristic is an even function, uh, the amplitude characteristic has an image on the negative frequencies, which is identical to the one at positive frequencies. And that is a, a problem with low intermediate frequency receivers. What we need is to shift the passband so that the negative frequencies are suppressed. That is shown on the right hand side. And that is achieved by a two phase filter. How it is done? To shift an uh, uh, amplitude characteristic one need to shift the, the frequency in the transfer function and that is here shown for a first order filter a first order transfer function uh, with lp is denoted the original the low pass filter and with bp is denoted the transformed the fan pass filter Shifted, so it behaves as, as a passband, band pass filter. Here, simply uh, the, uh, the variable omega is reduced by omega zero, which means everything is shifted to the right. Uh, on the bottom, the bottom expression it is rearranged so that we have in the parenthesis uh, a constant complex and then a variable omega which shows that by introducing this transformation the coefficients of the polynomials in the transfer function become complex so we have transfer functions not with real but with complex coefficients. There are no synthesis procedure which will produce a circuit from a transfer function expressed with com complex coefficients. 
This is why the transformation is done on the very circuit as such. Here is the situation which is which corresponds to the grounded capacitor. On the left hand side, we have the original capacitor, uh, a low pass voltage and low pass current. On the right hand side, we have a bump pass situation, transformed situation, but uh, we, uh, we have two excitations. One is VBP, that is the, the capacitor's voltage, and IBP, its current. But also we have a JBP that is coming from the other channel, which is shifted for 90 degrees. That is J stands on. So uh, this JVBP means that a signal is coming from the neighboring uh, parallel channel uh, I or Q, depends on the on the capacitor. So, of course, uh, we have this picture twice, once in the I channel and once in the Q channel. Uh, we interchanged the uh, voltages corresponding to the channels. And now, if the transconductance GM is chosen as shown here, omega zero C, so then the transformation is performed as shown in the previous slide. <clears throat> this is the same transformation, but now the capacitor is not grounded, it is floating. And when we look to the right hand side, we have this capacitor and uh, it, it, its uh, uh, electrical neighborhood is denoted by, by uh, ordinary voltages and currents, A and B, while from the bottom, from the other channel, come the same voltages, but shifted by J. This picture, this picture is now uh, repeated downwards so that on the bottom side there is another capacitor uh, because both channels should be should be transformed and uh, in that way we are getting we are getting the possibility to create a, a new GMC cell which is convenient for parallel realization of GMC of two phase GMC routing. If we have such cells, which will be shown later on, the structure of the polyphase or two phase filter will be like this. So we have channel I and channel Q, which is shifted for 90 degrees. And then we have cells driven by both signals in which we have also two channels i and q but in which the uh, the capacitors are coupled via the circuits shown in the previous slide and of course uh, both uh, channels have their own adders Here is one first order GMC two phase cell. So it is first order above, it is first order below, and every capacitor, the top and the bottom, they have their own transconductor. So based on this, the programs for synthesis were developed. The GMC PAR program is performing the 
parallel realization of single phase GMC filters in delivers it delivers the uh, HTML file with complete report and schematic delivers the report file with a complete report without schematic and it delivers a spice file uh, which contains ideal transconductors which means the uh, transconductances uh, used here uh, uh, are ideal in the sense that the output impedance of the transconductors is infinite and there is no capacitive component but simply at the output is a current source Here we will discuss uh, one example of uh, implementation of the GMC PAR program. As an example, a transfer function specially synthesized for this purpose uh, will be used. It is a 14th order band pass filter having four transmission zeros at the omega axis and two zeros at the origin. The maximum passband attenuation was set to 3 dB and the stop band at 40 dB. Simulation, simultaneous amplitude, simultaneous amplitude and constant group delay, maximally flat requirements were imposed, and the program BPT DAM was used for synthesis of the transfer function. The central frequency was set to 72 kilohertz. So that is the filter and here is the amplitude characteristic produced by spy simulation by running the file spice file or text file created by gmc par program the group delay characteristic and as you can see constant group delay is achieved as required next we will discuss the poly parallel program which performs parallel synthesis <coughs> of two phase filters gmc filters and also it produces three output files, uh, HTML file with complete schematic and all information, uh, textual file without schematic and all information and SPICE uh, file, a convenient As an example here, we will use a six-order modified elliptic filter with the maximum passband attenuation of 0.5 decibel and the minimum stop band attenuation obtained by introduction of, of two transmission, transmission zeros at a positive omega axis of 35 decibel. The cutoff frequency was used to be 200 kilohertz. The group delay was corrected by a fourth order corrector to produce a passband approximation or of error of 1%. So we have a modified elliptic filter with corrected group delay. For synthesis of two-phase filter, the program poly parallel was implemented. The nominal transconductance was chosen to be 10 microseconds, microsiemens, sorry, and the characteristic was shifted for 210 kilohertz. Uh, the number chosen so that the, the amplitude characteristic to be shifted for a little bit more than uh, the passband width is for the 
the shift to become visible at the zeroth frequency. Here is the result uh, this, obtained by, of course, spy simulation of the of the circuits produced by the polyparallel program. As one may see, we have a, a shifted filter as predicted, and all its properties are fully uh, under control. So this is a two-phase filter uh, convenient for uh, uh, low intermediate frequencies radio receivers. Here is the response of the same filter for negative frequencies. Negative frequencies are not allowed in SPICE. These are obtained by copying the same description while changing the sign of all capacitances. And that plays the role of changing the sign of the frequency. And as we can see, everything is satisfied as planned.